so I've got a bit of an oddity of a camera to look at here for you. Um, this is the, let me show it to you, this is the Fujifilm DL Super Mini. It's like about the size of a bar of soap. It's a point, uh, autofocus point and shoot. And it's just the strangest thing. It's like the camera that your gran has or your mum had, if you're like my age, in her handbag and would just like whip it out um, and take photos of parties and stuff, you know? It, it, it's sort of tiny, neat. It has a 28 um, millimeter Virginon lens on the front of it. And to get to the lens, you have to, I'll show this on the table. You sort of slide the front off. It's not gonna do it on mine. Mine's, I've dropped mine so many times. There it is, it's come out. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I always used to carry this as a backup camera. I used to keep it in my top pocket of my jacket. But every time I bend over, the thing would fall out. So I've got like tape on the back protecting it. It is a great camera. There are fun cameras. And if you really needed like a stealth camera to pop in your pocket, it takes great photos. It has some really annoying features, mind you. Like no matter what you do, if you take me opening it up just now, like that, okay, the flash is on. Now you have to actually turn, no matter what the light level is, you have to turn the flash off. So if I try and take a photograph now, point that right there, the flash goes off. But see, to, to, once you've got the camera open and active, you have to tap through some controls in the back, switch off the actual flash mode, and now you can take a photograph without the flash. It does have one of those interesting counters on it where it winds down, which is good. It sort of winds the, as you shoot the um, film, it's winding it back into the cam for you. I think that's the way it's doing it. So when you load the film, it winds all the film off. So every time you take a photograph, the photo, the, the I think, what else have I got that does that? I've got a, a cam on the cannons so I've got that does that as well. So every photo you're taking is protected because it's back inside the canister. So if you accidentally open the can up, you'd only lose, uh, 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 accidentally open up the camera, you'd only lose the film that hadn't been exposed yet. So yeah, so we'll go through this on the table. It's a novel, not a novelty cam, but it is an oddity camera. I suppose if you want something like really lightweight to pop in your pocket, but it's a bit frustrating um, because of the, the way that it's designed with the flash thing. You just can't open it and shoot. You have to every single time you open it. And every time you shut the door on it, hang on, here it comes again. Every time you shut the door on it, which is that, it resets back to its initial state. So you can't turn the flash off permanently. But yeah, no, fun camera. Um, but very much the camera, you'd, you know, 80s, point and shoot, you'd pop in your pocket. And, and you'd go out and take like snaps, birthday snaps, stuff like that. So it's really handy. It's quite discreet as you can see by its size, but it's a tiny little thing. There are some other versions of this. There's one with a zoom lens on the front of it. These are quite expensive now. I don't know why. I think, I think it's because they're like quite trendy, but it is literally like a silver bar of soap, isn't it? It's a bar of soap um, that takes photographs. Anyway, sit on the table and I'll come back. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Fuji DL Super Mini, a camera that wants to be a silver bar of soup. Or looks very much like one. Okay, so to activate it, you just slide the cover over the front, pull that out, out comes in. So now the camera's active. As I said before, it's really annoying now. You have to jump onto this, go through, you've got red eye, no flash. Now you can shoot it in daylight without the flash going off. Then you've got, what else is that? Sunny, nighttime. So you've got some modes there. You've also got focus modes. So if you press this focus button, mountains is infinite. Mountains also switches off the um, uh, flash as well. Then you've got snap. Now what snap is, it sort of does a, a shot within a certain distance. And I think you can adjust that distance here. This is 3.5 meters. You'll sort of try and get it in focus. I think I'm gonna press this button, I'm not sure, there you go. You can change that snap distance by pressing this button here. I don't know how you get it back the other way. That way? No, okay. Press that again. No, that's timer. Yeah, so focus, focus, snap, two meters, select. Anyway, find the manual. You can get the manual online. It's quite hard to find it actually, but you can get the manual online. 
Um, it's quite it's like a one pager. Then you've got the panoramic switch up here, which is obviously just chops off the top and bottom of the picture. And then that's really it. It's got a thing called a super loading mechanism. I can't open it, I've still got film in it. But it's supposed to make it really easy to drop the roll in. It isn't that clever because it's sort of like when you open up the back of the camera with this, it sort of arm comes out. And it's actually quite fiddly. And it takes one of these, a single one of these batteries, whatever that one is, CR2, single CR2. Last for ages. But yeah, I mean, it's a really bizarre little thing. So that's the Fujifilm DL Super Mini. Um, would I buy this again? Probably. I mean, I don't know. It's a really weird camera. I don't know why I bought it in the first place. It's sort of, I just thought it just, I don't know. I just love the slidey door thing at the front, I think. And the fact that it was so tiny. I think it's the smallest camera I actually own. Uh, smallest full frame 35, like point shoot. Because look at the size of it. I mean, it's literally, it will fit in your pocket. Um, I wouldn't want it, I, mean, I think that's aluminium. I mean, I wouldn't want to sibble it. But yeah, I mean, you know, possibly something to just chuck in your bag for a day out. Um, yeah, but yeah, there are some other ones. Apparently the lens on this is, is really good, 28 mil. So you've got a 28 mil, so that's useful for pretty much everything. And it's obviously by the name of the channel that you're watching, it's my favorite lens, focal length. So, yeah, so the uh, DL Super Mini. Not sure what to say about that. I'm not gonna recommend you buy one. Um, I'm just gonna say, if you fancy something weird and novel and tiny, then, then this is, and silver, that looks like a bar of soap, then this is your camera. Anyway, thank you for watching.